So today on Six Sister Stuff, we are making five freezer meals in just 30 minutes. So my name is Kristen. And I'm Camille, and today, we're going back to the basics. It does not get any simpler than this. <laughs> Five dump and go freezer meals that you can assemble in 30 minutes or less if you get really fast. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> but you just need these simple go-to recipes on those busy nights. And here's the thing, you can throw them in your freezer or dump them right into your slow cooker and dinner is done. So we're gonna jump on in and we'll get started with the first one. So the first recipe we're making is slow cooker ham and pineapple sandwiches. This, it was one of my favorites growing up. So I'm excited that we, we turned it into a freezer meal for you. Now, I wouldn't suggest making this an instant pot, but the slow cooker, it works perfectly. Perfect. Okay, so to start out, we've got two cups of diced pre-cooked ham. So if you have like a leftover ham from Sunday dinner or a holiday dinner, perfect for this recipe, yes. or you can buy diced ham from the deli. That's what we from, did. Yep, and we, <laughs> we love that. It's so I know. good. So we're just gonna go ahead and dump it in there. Um, this is actually probably a little bit more than two cups. Just two to three cups is perfect. Yeah. There's a lot in here. There is. <laughs> Dumping it all in. Do it. You gotta feed a lot of people. Yep, big families. That's what we do. Okay, so there's our ham. Perfect. All right. So the next ingredient is just a can of crushed pineapple with the juice. You want to keep the juice in there. It's a 20 ounce can. Yes. And you're just going to dump the whole thing right in there. Perfect. Yeah. Next, I'm just going to add just one fourth of an onion. Or if, I mean, if you love onions, you can add yeah. a little bit more, but we're just adding a fourth today. Yeah, just a little bit. And then we've got one green pepper that's all diced. You can dice it as small or as large as you want. Whatever your family prefers is perfect. perfect. All right, and then for like the flavoring, it, oh, that's so good. It's okay. not ham without brown sugar. Right, you need the brown sugar. So we're going three fourths cup of just brown sugar and then just a fourth a cup of Dijon mustard. Now, if you don't have Dijon, yellow mustard works fine too, but I do like the flavor of the Dijon, Dijon mustard. Dijon and, yep, yeah. with the brown sugar. It's so good. It's good. Okay, and that's literally all that's you have all to is. do. Yep. Yes. So when you cook this in your slow cooker, you cook it for what? It's three to four hours on high or five to six hours on low. Perfect. Just basically you're just heating it through, kind of letting the peppers and onions soften and just really letting those flavors meld together. And so good. We serve it on hamburger buns. You could also add cheese. I like to do like Swiss Ooh. cheese melted on top. That sounds good. It's just so good. You could kind of throw it in your broiler and toast the buns and melt the cheese. But um, yeah, so that's, that's the sandwiches, just like that. Perfect, done with this one. Let's move on to the next. All right, our next recipe is slow cooker sticky chicken. And now I'm trying to describe what this tastes like. It really is like a sweet barbecue, just a sticky chicken. It does use apricot preserves, but it doesn't taste like fruit. No. It just adds a little bit of sweetness. So, but you get the savory with the onion soup mix. We'll show you how to make this. Perfect. All right, so to start out, we just threw four to five chicken breasts in there. To feed a family of six, you need about a pound and a half of chicken. So whatever size your chicken breasts are, you just plop them in the bag and you're good to go. Yep. And we didn't want to show you that we touched it. <laughs> All right, then we're gonna do one cup of apricot preserve. So this is just, Oh, about half or yeah, so? It's about okay, half about jar. half of the jar. Mm -hmm. We eyeball a lot, so yeah. you can with these, which I, that's these what I love. These recipes are super lenient, like it's okay. Yep. If you're not measuring out perfectly. <laughs> okay, so the next thing is just a cup of barbecue sauce. Just whatever your favorite kind is. We love Sweet Baby Ray's. It's a good price, it's got good flavor, but anything that's your favorite will work for this. So you need yeah. about a cup of that. Our last ingredient is Lipton onion soup mix. So it comes in a packet like this, and you're just gonna dump it in completely dry. So toss it in there, and that's it. It's that simple. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so from there, we'll zip it up. You can mix it together, but yep, good to go. So to cook this, you're going to do, let's see, about six hours on low or three to four hours on high. You can do it completely from frozen, um, but we do recommend that you thaw it in the fridge for about 24 hours before you toss it in your It cooker. makes it taste a little bit better. Yeah. So you can cook this in your Instant Pot, but I would suggest cooking it from frozen 
and then putting in a cup of water. But at the end, you're gonna have to push the saute because you want it to get that sticky, yeah, the sticky texture. Sauce. So really, it is, a, it is easier in your slow cooker to get the sticky sauce. If you just dump it in in your Instant Pot like this, you're gonna get the burn notice and then you're gonna destroy the recipe. <laughs> so slow cooker, slow that's cooker what is the way to go with this one. And then we just serve this. We shred it up and serve it over rice. Um, really good. Yep, all right, done with this one. Let's move on to the next. All right, so the next recipe is our pineapple mandarin chicken. Now, again, this is so good, but it's a little bit more of a sticky yeah, a texture. Thick. Yes, it's yeah. thick, and so you'll want to make this in the slow cooker. So we're first going to put about what, three to four chicken breasts. Yeah. We're serving anywhere from four to six people. So yeah. these are large chicken breasts here. <laughs> okay, then this is literally a three ingredient recipe, yeah, which is these. my favorite. <laughs> So you're gonna take your mandarin teriyaki sauce. I like to use, this is the Panda Express kind. Really good flavor. Really good Tastes flavor. Tastes like takeout. And it smells so good. <laughs> and you're gonna just use the whole entire bottle. Yeah. Like you can see, it is really thick. But the good thing about the slow cooker is it does pull out all of the juices. Yes. So it doesn't, it's not quite it's so not thick good. after cooking. There we go. Okay, and so the next thing that we are using is about a cup of pineapple fruit preserves. Now this might, be kind of harder to find at your store. We had to get um, kind of a random brand, but just any type of pineapple preserves will work um, to give you the right flavor. That's why we recommend using the pineapple. But you're gonna add one cup. And just dump it in there, so a little less than the whole jar. Okay, and that is it. That That's is That's how simple this is. So you're gonna cook this in your slow cooker. Yep. Three to four hours on high, but I do recommend five to six hours on low, just so that chicken really just falls apart. Right. It's super shreddy. It's a little bit And um, if you wanted to, you could chop up some onions and green peppers and red peppers, any color of pepper, and throw it in with this and let it oh, cook it with really it. Good. Yeah. Or you could use a bag of frozen stir fry vegetables, cook those up in the last 10 minutes of this cooking, and then serve it with it. A perfect side yeah. dish. With Over it. rice, side of, the, or side of vegetables. It's easy and it's good. Perfect. All right. Okay. Done with this one. Let's move on to the next. All right, our next freezer meal is slow cooker orange chicken. We're continuing with the Asian theme today. <laughs> it's just so easy. It is. So it we're is. just gonna keep going. So the first ingredient is barbecue sauce. Now you've already used half a bottle um, in one of the other recipes, so you should have at least one cup left that you can use. Nice. So that will be the base. It adds a little bit of sweetness and it adds a really good sauce. We love okay. It. Then you're just gonna add three tablespoons of soy sauce and we are gonna kind of just eyeball this. Yep. yep. You can measure too. If you're a yeah. measurer, go ahead. Measure. These recipes are so <laughs> easy to just kind of eyeball. You're still gonna get the same flavor. So right. the last ingredient that we are adding is orange marmalade. We're gonna do one cup of this. You'll notice that these recipes are similar, but because we tweak the, 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 the sauce a little yeah. bit, they have completely different flavors. So this is another one that I would serve over rice. Just shred it up, serve it over rice. Yeah, we'll add one cup of this orange marmalade. Okay, you are good to go. Perfect. All right, so with this recipe, again, it's a little bit thicker, so it's yeah. hard to make in your Instant Pot, but perfect for the slow cooker. So I would say what, three to four hours on high, high. or six to eight or so, I don't know, four to six? Yeah, I usually low. aim with frozen chicken breast six hours on low. Okay. If you're using chicken thighs, you could go up to seven. You just don't want your chicken to dry out. Chicken breasts don't have a lot of fat on them. They're a really lean cut of meat. Yeah. So they will dry out if you let them cook too long. But if you let it cook for six hours, your slow cooker should just automatically kick to warm after that time. And you can let it stay on warm for as many hours as you need. Okay. So if you have a long day at work, Cook it on low for six hours and then let it stay on warm until you get home from work. Perfect. And yeah. like we said, over rice again with yeah. easy vegetable side dish. You can do all kinds yeah. of stuff with it. So, okay, all done with this one. We have one more for you. All right, so our last recipe is called citrus onion pulled pork. And I love this because it's literally two ingredients. <laughs> this is an easy one to dump in your Zolka Girl or Instant Pot right? yes. on a busy day. Yes. Yeah. So even though it's only two ingredients, I love just having it all pre-made so you can yep. just not even think about it when it comes time for dinner. So I agree. we're gonna start with two pounds of a pork roast. Yeah. And then I'll show you this, see if you can look at it. It's, so it's 
It's actually a chicken marinade. Yeah, that but you find on the marinade yes, aisle. Yes, yes. But it's citrus and onion, and it is one of my so favorites. So it's Stubbs brand. Um, you can use any sort of like citrus, onion, marinade, but if you can find this, it's got I great flavor. Highly suggest it. And you can find it at Kroger and some Walmart. So just keep your eyes open for it. If you ever see it, grab it. Right, <laughs> just always have it on stock. <laughs> Amen. Anyways, okay, so if you're gonna cook this in the Instant Pot, you might want to add just a little bit of water. It's it's liquidy, but just, just so you have a little bit more just thinner to be safe. liquid. Yes, yep. just to be safe. And then if you're just gonna cook it in the slow cooker, you can cook it just like this. Okay, yep. tell us your time. What would you cook in the slow cooker? Kay. She is the slow cooker queen. <laughs> I have, I'm the Instant Pot queen. Here's so. the thing, I've loved my slow cooker for 10 years. No, probably more like 15 years. It saved me in the kitchen, but slowly coming over to the Instant Pot side. Yes. Get in there. So in the slow cooker, because it is a roast, and because it's a big fat cut of meat, you're going to want to cook it low and slow. So I would recommend eight to nine hours on low in your slow cooker. Perfect. If you do it on high, it's fine. It will cook it, but it's not going to be that fall apart, shred tender That's meat we that like. we want. Yes. So low and slow, eight to nine hours. This is a pretty lean cut of pork. We just use a pork loin roast. Yeah. You could use a shoulder, you could use a butt roast, like any type of pork roast. You can also use this for chicken breasts. Oh. Do the same recipe and do shredded chicken. That's a great idea. Yeah. Perfect. So. so, and then if you're gonna cook it in the Instant Pot, because it is thicker, you have to cook it for a little bit longer. So I would cook it anywhere from 60 to 70 minutes, just to make sure that it's cooked all the way through and will shred easy. So. Yeah, yep. And then when it's done, when it's all shredded, yeah. serve it on, we love to do it on Hawaiian rolls. It's really good flavor yeah. with the citrus and onion marinade. Um, but you could do any type of bun and do sliders or sandwiches. We also love to melt cheese on top. Of always, always yeah, cheese Swiss with us. provolone is mm -hmm. really good. So that's what I would recommend. Serve Perfect. it with some fruit and some chips, maybe some carrots and ranch. Dinner's done. Done. All right, you guys. Now, if you loved these freezer meals, you're going to love our other ones. So make sure to check out our other freezer meals right up there. And we will see you guys next week. See, see you ya. later.